And for the last one, I'm, I'm going to show you the Modbus TCP, which is a lot um, simpler and easier than Modbus RTU. Uh, and I want you to notice that the Modbus TCP master must has to be the SP01ET module, the, the Ethernet module. This CPU type cannot be Modbus master. This one should be should only be Modbus TCP master. And the CPU type SP32MDT, SP16MDR, those are all Modbus TCP slaves. I'm going to open up open project TCP master ET Modbus master same same idea same steps uh, you have the scan program and then you have to register the Modbus TCP master. Open it again. So I have the scan program, I have the Modbus TCP master, and so this is, this is Modbus uh, TCP master, which is the SP01 EET module, the slot 1. This is local base slot 1, and port number use the default. I'm going to register my slave Modbus slave IP address. Click OK. And then I'm going to add station number one. Start address one. Read coil. I'm going to add one more. Force coil. Okay. And this, uh, the default, um, this is to assign IP address for Modbus TCP master. Notice that the, uh, be reminded that the sub that mask, mask has to be the same. So I write it. 
and then I download the program So I have the Modbus TCP is ready and I'm going to open up Modbus Slave, TCP Slave Scan program is ready, and you don't need the Modbus TCP slave, you just have to configure the settings over here. You go to Ethernet, and I'm going to assign the this IP address for here. So it's going to be 173, 72, 30, 100, 100. The subnet mask should be the same. Having two, 255, 255, and 00. zero. PLC download the connection It is ready to use. I make the connection. I download the program. Let me add Let me add one more memory so according to my communication frame I have the read call status from M So if this is turned on,
play device. Whole address should be one M um, holding register should be D download again. So if I have the, if I turn on this, So according to my communication frame, if I turn on this, this also be responding, corresponding in Modbus TCP master slave and to force single coil I go to M100 and then I write 1 and this will be written here turn it on off and turn it on this is how you write a single coil and how you read it read double read the word data would be go to D100 D100 10 as you can see it is reading the same values so in in, the, in this tutorial we have gone over the Modbus RTU master over RS 232 over RS 485 and then we have covered the Modbus TCP communication as well. Um, thank you again and we'll get back with you on another lesson.